Hello, I've spent today uh, improving my quick talk script for lip syncing so that it will work with Make Human, um, which was something someone asked me to look into a while ago and I finally got around to it. So we're going to start off by telling you what Make Human is. Make Human is an uh, open source program which is free source code available to make human shapes and export them to animation packages. I'm using the nightly build, so I've no idea whether this will work on the earlier versions. The nightly build seems fairly stable to me, but that's always going to be a risk. Once you've got Make Human, we need to install a plugin for Make Human so that it will export in Make Human Exchange Format version 2 which Thomas here has made for us. You can get that from this URL, which I'll put in the description. It's a Bitbucket URL where Thomas here is hosting the plugin. And once you download that plugin, you should find two folders and a readme. The readme will explain that the two folders are the plugin for Make Human and the plugin for Blender. So the first thing we want to do, or the next thing, is to copy that plugin into Make Human's plugins folder, which we can find here. I don't know where it will be on your machine, presumably wherever you've installed Make Human. On mine, it's here, and when you find the Make Human plugins folder, Make Human plugins. You can just copy the export system over to there, and that should be enough to install the Make Human plugin. So now we can run Make Human. Um, which we can do there. Version 1.1 here, as I say. Not yet the full stable version, but uh, seems stable enough for me. So as we can see, we can change the human we're going to export from female to male sort of shapes. We can change your age from old right the way down to baby. Um, how muscly she is, the weight, height and proportions and things like that, but we're not very interested in that. You'll fiddle around with all of these different things, no doubt, to get the shape of human that you want. The thing that matters is that in the pose animate skeleton section, we need to have a rig so that we export a rig. Uh, once we've got that, we can go to File Export, choose Make Human Format 2. That won't be there if you failed to install the plugin. Just installing the plugin made that available to us. And then pick where we're going to. Actually, let's just quickly give us some clothes. Um, geometry is. So you can have a uh, t-shirt, shorts, and that'll be fine, that's all we need. So then we export, let's choose where, and we choose the file name and save the export. That'll take a little while. it's finished and then when it's finished uh, 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 no, let's keep that open in case something went wrong when it's finished we can run blender and we need to install the MHX2 plugin blender half into blender so we'll do that with file user preferences add-ons 
install from file and then find where you downloaded Thomas's code to. In my case it's here and that isn't going to let me install from file because it won't let me choose the directory. So what I'll do is copy that into my blender directory, my blender config is here, installation, uh, scripts, add ons, we'll copy the blender version. of the thing into that directory. There we go. And then let's try running Blender again. Use preferences, search for the MHX2 plugin. There it is, and enable it. Tick. That means we can now file, import, Make Human 2, again that option wouldn't be there until we installed that plugin. And choose the file that we exported a moment ago. Don't just double click it. Do click it, but don't just double click it because we need to override, override the exported data to the MHX2 to take over. We will export the face shapes and the face shape drivers, they're important for animation because obviously that's about face shape or for lip sync for animation, that's about the face shape we'll not include any hair or any genitals but we will add a rig, the export format that we want is MHX, no it's not, it's Rigify, we want Rigify export And then when we click import, that will again take a little while until we've got our make human character in Blender. I haven't known it to crash. There we go. Uh, very tall here because I didn't check the export scale in make human. Uh, in make human, if I instead of having decimeter had meters it would have been more accurate size but we don't really care about the size of it for the moment we just want to show that we've got a rig let's just move the thing around let's just move the arms and the legs and everything and importantly the face animation if we look in the toolbar here you can press T to get that up if it's not there MHX2 runtime should be there. If it isn't, again, you haven't installed the plugin. Here we get to choose a busy. You can see we've got uh, actually, firstly, I'll show you if you press N to enable that other sidebar and enable all layers. We've got some options for moving the jaw and the mouth around as it is here. And we can do quite a lot of animation that way. Maybe change the eyebrows. But we also have facial shape controllers. We can change very detailed systems for the Things. And as I say, important for our lip syncing, Vizines. There are many different shape keys here, Vizine keys. And when we click them, we get the shape that you make when you say that sound. So, uh, ah, do, oh, <laughs> all the shapes there. Um, which is fine if you're up for painstakingly going through and, and trying to remember how every word is spelled and every word is 
pronounced and what shapes are made and, and gradually frame by frame do all the things but what if you're very lazy and us lazy people we like to use the plugin I wrote Quick Talk you can find Quick Talk on my tentacles page uh, my website's page tentacles.org.uk slash quick talk link will be in the description and uh, this video will be at the top of it no doubt quite soon um, it will tell you that you need to download a dictionary from either CMU's own site or I've got a known working copy on mine if you have trouble with that for any reason and also it will tell you to download the plugin itself quicktalk.py once you've downloaded that you can add the preferences quick talk plugin oh, install that from file um, it's in my I mean it'd be wherever you've downloaded it to in my case here install from file and then we can enable and that will mean that we've got new options here in the object panel here are my options quick talk firstly since we're using MHX we're going to change this X rotation to MHX version Vizims and we don't need to build shape keys because that's all been done for us in the MHX but we do need to select a script which uh, shows us what uh, the lines are, the lines of dialogue the script file that I'm going to be using is just, as you can see name of a character, or by a colon and then the names, the, the actual dialogue la lines which can't end in colons we've got a four line script here, just turn a quick joke and I'll select that script there's my script file here um, script files in there example script that means that these following buttons now work oh, next thing we're going to do is add the audio for that file or the sound file in this case it's uh, the vocals.wav that I recorded earlier. Make sure that starts at frame one. And set the length of our scene to be the length of this thing. That's very useful to also turn on draw waveform so that you can see where the lines of dialogue start and end sometimes even as accurately as the other words should be that will make the next step much easier because we're going to click guest dialogue markers and that will line up markers here at the beginning of every time it changes which character is speaking we need a little bit of adjusting which I can just do quickly by eye because I've been able to view the waveform here then it's just get line markers we should have another one had added for the next line that's been aligned pretty well and finally guest word markers and now we're going to have some actual work to do make sure that audio scrubbing is turned on and AV sync frame dropping and now we're going to go through <coughs> making all the words line up there's some weird thing going on there but uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go into time lapse for a while now while I just line up all of these you can see how I've done those first words basically just going to be the same throughout the whole thing 
drag in the letters, the markers which are now representing each of the words. Okay, so I've gone through and set all of those markers. Uh, and we can see now that they all line up nicely. So basically the final step is to make sure that this thing is named, this character, this character's uh, object is named after the person in the uh, script. So we want it to give Frankie's lines. And then if we just quickly switch to the graph editor and click a dictionary. Now the dictionary, as I mentioned earlier, needs to be downloaded off of uh, CMU. They'll have a more recent version than me, no doubt, with more words in it. Or you can find a known working version on my website. Um, we pick the dictionary and so we'll click quick talk plot and that will take a little while to chunk turn away using these markers to know where to click each of these buttons as it runs through as you can see we've now got some animation data in the timeline here and if I run it from the start I don't know how do you get to where you to get me um, it looks fairly poor here because it's such a slow uh, frame rate. I'm only getting more 10 frames a second, and the animation's running at 24 ideally. As you can see, it's a lot. Um, was, yeah, so let's. <laughs> so you can see that's all right. Um, no doubt you'll still have to slide around some of these key points to make it work perfectly, but that gives you a first pass. And we've finished that in what, 20 minutes? Uh, thanks for watching. You can watch my cartoons or watch me work away with my dev development log at tentacles.org.uk.